What do you know about donuts on Sunday? Is this a name? Yes. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. What does it mean? Do we have donuts on Sunday? We do not. What does that have to do with anything? Hello? What does donuts on Sunday have to do with anything? Elise. What do you know about donuts on Sunday? What do you know about donuts on Sunday? That's what I'm saying. What does that even mean? <laughs> what is donuts on Sunday? What is that? Do we have it on Sunday? What, what do you mean? He's going to stay. Nobody knows what donuts on Sunday is. Somebody does. <laughs> who? The person who did it. I can't tell you. But the fact that you don't know about it tells me you're, you are what innocent. Donuts on Sunday. You're innocent. Donuts on Sunday. Donuts on Sunday. Donuts on Sunday. So Simone and Elise are definitely innocent. There's no more doubt in my mind. I asked them specifically about donuts on Sunday because I had been receiving anonymous emails from somebody who goes by the signage Donuts Every Sunday. And up to this point, I haven't shared this on the podcast. Uh, So unless you are here dealing with these things personally, this is new to you. And so in today's episode of Straight Up Missing, I'm going to read all of the emails that I've received from the person who goes only by the name Donuts Every Sunday. So this is going to go back, and it's hard to think that we are now in December, and the cup's been missing since the end of October, so it's been missing over a month now. But let me just start at the beginning of where when these emails started coming to my inbox. So the first one came October 31st, which is a Tuesday night, and one of the... Um, Something about these emails that was consistent is they all pretty much happened in the evening time. So this one was at 639, and it reads, KP, we have the cup, but what's it worth? We're willing to talk. Signed, Donuts Every Sunday. Now, Donuts Every Sunday there is one word, no spaces, Donuts Every Sunday. A couple of things to note that caught me or just kind of caught me off guard here is number one, KP. Now, I used to go by KP in um, at my former church, in my former denomination. Everybody only knew me as KP. Um, but when I left my former denomination and left my former church, before I came into the PCA now, where I am now, Um, I've just gone by Christian. I haven't gone by KP. People haven't called me that. And so that was sort of a clue, I thought, at first, as to maybe who could be doing this. And I honestly thought, I I thought, well, maybe it's Matthew. Um, He calls me KP every once in a while. Um, And then could it be my wife, Kirsty? So... Kind of a mystery. I'm not really sure how to take that. But anyways, I responded that night at 6.46 p.m. I said, what? Who is this? To which, a few hours later, I got a response again that just said, donuts, period. Sunday, period. Elementary school 
in middle school and high school. We will start there. So now I have the I have somebody who claims to have the cup and they're holding it for ransom. Okay. They're saying we have the cup. We won't tell you where it is or anything else about it. Just have donuts this Sunday in all three of your, uh, you know, youth Sunday school groups or Sunday school classes. And I just immediately responded just a couple minutes later after reading it. I said, how about some proof first? And then nothing. Um, not until November 1st, the very next day, or I should say evening, at 7.51 p.m. Donuts Every Sunday responded by saying, this is a ransom email. You don't get proof. Donuts, Sunday, elementary school, in middle school, in high school, youth group birthday celebration, twice a quarter, all for now, Signed, Donuts Every Sunday. <laughs> P.S. Hint attached. And this is where it got interesting. At the bottom of the email was, an, it was a picture of our senior pastor, Pastor Matthew Everhard, from the Christmas pageant two years prior. And Whoever did this is pretty good with Photoshop because they photoshopped a picture of the cup with Matthew. I'll post these online so you can see them. And I don't know why that's a hint. I mean, it kind of immediately it was like, man, I just one, I, I'm not going to try to throw any shade at anybody, but <laughs> Matthew, I don't think is very good at Photoshop, at least not this good. And so I'm not sure if he could have done this. So that kind of put him out uh, of my mind as far as a prime suspect at this time. But this was the email. This is what I was talking to Simone and Elise about is if they knew anything about donuts on Sunday, because I thought if it was them, it would have been a dead giveaway. But as soon as I mentioned donut Sunday, Simone had this look on her face like it was because <laughs> the, the whole mood of the conversation shifted. And she, it took her by complete surprise. And she was just like, what? What are you talking about? And so I knew that it wasn't Simone. I'm glad that I, I no longer think that it's them or no longer have to worry about thinking it's them because I know it's not them. But it could still be their dad. But I don't know. And again, so we started with Ransom, which is just donuts on Sundays. And then in addition to donuts, this person wants youth group birthday celebrations twice a quarter. We do, um, in in our youth group, we do birthday celebrations once a quarter where we have a breakaway night where we just have cake and ice cream and play games and celebrate all the birthdays for that quarter. So this person is saying now they want it twice a quarter. And I just don't know what I'm going to do about that. So I responded pretty, pretty quickly. Um, same night, this is November 1st at 8.27, I responded, nope, <laughs> I'll backtrace this email and figure out figure it out myself using your IP address. You, you should have been more clever. When I do find out who you are, I'll be sure to make sure the squad you're affiliated with loses all of their points. Thanks. Because don't forget, this is all squad war. So I first was offering points to people who helped me find it. So now... I'm thinking, okay, I know plenty of, of smart people in the computer world. Like, we can figure out who this is. And they, so Donuts Every Sunday responded and said, I think I'm very clever. This sounds like an inside job. I don't know anything about points or squads, but I'll make sure my name's engraved. Great idea. Signed, Donuts Every Sunday. And that was it for that night. <laughs> so now I'm tasked with trying to figure out how in the world can I figure out who this person is. So the first thing I did was search their IP address, which was attached to the uh, email. But of course, it's it's all through Google. And so it just sends it right back to Google in California. 
And so that was a dead end. So now I am in the group chat with our guys. The, we have a guys group chat here at the church, and I'm asking them, hey guys, help me figure out who this is. And somebody in our chat, a buddy of mine, sent me a link to a website where I could send basically a hyperlink that would take all of their personal information as far as their their personal IP address and things like that, and I could figure it out. So all I had to do now was figure out how can I get donuts every Sunday to click on this new hyperlink that's going to tell me who they are. Let's see if we can figure that out, how to do that. Create a link it basically is a it's a link that is to a actual website. So I got the Dunkin' Donuts, uh, the local Dunkin' Donuts website, uh, and I put that URL in. And what it does, it sends them to that site while also sending me their information. And so I responded the next day with an email with this new hyperlink to try to <laughs> figure out who they are. And so this is this is what uh, I wrote back. This is um, November 2nd at 8.51 a.m. Again, because dun- uh, sorry, Donuts Every Sunday doesn't respond during the day. I didn't hear for the entire day. But at 8.51 a.m., I said, hey, I'll play along. Place the order and I'll pick it up. And I put the hyperlink in and the the link is, it just, it's a blue link in the email and it's the Duncan that's closest to my house. I pass it. Uh, every Sunday. And I said, just set the time for like for pickup at 7 a.m. So I sent that at 8.51 at 9 a.m. And then later that night at 5.30, I got an email response finally. Donuts sound great. What's your credit card number? Signed, Donuts Every Sunday. So they're, they're kind of playing along a little bit. And I think they kind of, whoever it is, must have figured it out or they were trying to, I, I thought maybe they knew what was going on or, I'm sorry, that they didn't know what was going on and then they caught on because immediately after, that was at, at 525, at 529, D- Donuts Every Sunday responded. They said, take that back. I can't do that. Nice try. I'm not risking this. You're, you order donuts. And then they give me this long laundry list of requests. It says, request for sprinkles, blueberry, powdered sugar, glaze, sprinkles, regular, Steelers, black and gold sprinkles, cake, cinnamon sugar, maple, Boston cream sprinkles, signed donuts every Sunday. So at this point, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to happen. But I responded immediately. I said, what do you mean? Risk what? What You're not risking anything. You put the order in, and I'll pay for it when I pick it up. That's why I sent you the link to the Duncan next to my house. And only moments later, Donuts Every Sunday responded again. Can't trust anyone, especially Duncan workers, especially next to your house. Bring donuts. Don't worry. The cup is in good hands for now. Signed, Donuts every Sunday. And this time, much like the previous night where they attached an image, they now sent a picture of our organist, John Cannon, sitting at the organ playing with the cup in the background. So now they're just messing with me. And I'm trying to figure out who do I know that's this good with a little bit of Photoshop? Because it's clean. It looks good. And so that was November 2nd. And uh, let's see, what day was that? Let me figure out what day that was. Because I, I'm i determined not to, at any at whatsoever, to actually give in to the ransom demands of Donuts Every Sunday. So this was, again, November 2nd. So that was Thursday night. So this is after youth group. And I had talked about it that night. And at this point, everybody still thinks that I'm probably the one who did this. All the while, I'm getting these emails and getting frustrated because I just want to figure out who this person is, and I'm not going to negotiate with terrorists here. Uh, I was trying to be slick and wasn't uh, successful. And so that was November 2nd on Thursday. November, uh, November 4th on Saturday, I got a reminder email. It said this. This, was, this is what they said. You pick up donuts tomorrow. 
I didn't call in, but they must be there. No ransom discussion on the Sabbath. Okay, sounds good. That's just what I responded with. All right, sounds good. I'm not doing this. But what I did do was the opposite of that. So what I did do that Sunday morning on the 7th is I, um, I'm sorry, not the 7th, but the 5th. On the 5th, I got up, went to Dunkin', which is not uncommon for me on Sunday morning. Uh, Sunday mornings, I got went to Dunkin', I ordered myself a nice extra large hot coffee, and <laughs> the girl in the drive-thru probably thought I was crazy because I said, hey, I have a really odd f- uh, you know, request. Can I just get three donut boxes? And they were super nice, and they obliged to my request, and they were just like, what size do you want? And how many do you need? I was like three, like a 12 count. And so they gave it to me, no questions asked. And we were just, and I was, I felt weird. And they were just super happy just to, you know, give me these boxes. They were like, honey, we got tons of boxes. So I took these boxes. And what I did is I got in my office Sunday morning, uh, that Sunday morning, and printed out these little sheets that said, no cup, no donuts. And I put a box with one of those flyers in it in each of the Sunday school rooms. And man, the entire youth group was really upset because they didn't understand. They didn't know because I'm not telling anybody about these emails. They had no idea why that there was an empty box. And so I told them, I said, somebody's holding the cup for ransom and they want donuts. And I refuse to negotiate with terrorists. So that was November 5th. So Monday, November 6th, a little earlier in the afternoon at 416, I got a, an email Again, from Donuts every Sunday. This is what they wrote. Heard or saw. Donuts not there. You don't understand. Ransom. Now, a dent in trophy. You must prove your loyalty before we prove ours. That's an order. Donuts. Every Sunday. Elementary school and middle school and high school. Youth group birthday celebration twice a quarter. No more pity stick. Actual spirit stick. Signed, Donuts Every Sunday. Now, the pity stick, spirit stick thing is in reference to the spirit stick that we award on Thursday nights at the end of youth group. As we're doing squad wars, we give away a spirit stick every week. It's just a, it's just a fun way to you know, keep um, students um, <laughs> you know, excited about what we're doing. And there is a lot of controversy over who I awarded the spirit stick to that week. So now I know, okay, this is at least somebody within the youth group, whether it's a parent uh, or a student, I'm starting to get an idea of who I think it could be. But that was, anyways, so that was November 6th. I didn't respond. I'm done responding to this person. I'm done talking to them. I'm done negotiating. We're going to have to figure out um, who this is. And so November 17th, uh, some 11 days later, November 17th, which was a Friday at 420. Lots of silence. Still hungry. And then at the bottom of the email, they give me a quote from one of the previous podcasts. It says, quote, I'm going to be honest to you. I don't think that trophy was even all that special. Quote, Simone Everhard. So now I know that they're listening. And another attachment to this email. This time, it's a an image, a still image shot from... Um, Star Wars Episode Four, where Luke is in the trash uh, compactor, and there's the trophy. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna post all these so you can see them. And so this, of course, is going into the holiday break. This is in the middle of finals week and things like that for me. My, you know, things in my office have been very busy lately. And honestly, I've at this point just kind of said it's gonna show back up at some point. I'm sure. I have too many other things that I need to really focus on, particularly finals and papers and things like that. And so that's why there was some silence. But anyways, we went through the Thanksgiving holiday and I didn't respond to that email. I didn't even give it a second thought. I didn't even, I just stopped talking about it. In fact, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but one of our students actually gave me some advice. They were like, you know what you should do? You should just stop talking about it. And I thought she was just kind of being, uh, just kind of being funny, but she was serious. She said, just stop talking about it. It's like, you know, having a, a younger sibling that's just 
you know, bothering you. They're just doing it to get a rise out of you. So just let it be. And at first I was like, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep trying to dig, dig, dig. And uh, I just got tired of digging. I got tired of, of trying to work through and figure out what in the world's going on. I trusted that this thing would come back and I have my suspicions as to who it may be. Well, on December 8th, and so this is, again, all the way through the, the Thanksgiving holiday into December. So Friday, December 8th, this is the Friday leading into our Christmas pageant. So we are over a month of this thing being gone, and finally I get a response, or I should say I hear from Donuts Every Sunday because I didn't email it back. So they said December 8th, we'll bring trophy for finals. Which is this? Which is tomorrow, as of the recording of this episode? Only if donuts this Sunday. Last chance. Signed, donuts every Sunday. No attachment. Just a simple, short email. Um, and guys, I gotta tell you, I really, really want this trophy to be back. Um, for our finals night for Squad Wars. So I'm not going to say that I got donuts for donuts every Sunday, but I did go buy donuts this past Sunday for Sunday school. And we put donuts in all three classrooms, a dozen in each one of them, and they all got eight. And I didn't mention it, didn't say a thing. And people were like, most of the students had completely forgotten about the whole ransom thing. They were just excited to have donuts. But... I'm hoping and thinking, well, maybe Donuts Every Sunday will be here. Maybe they'll get one of their donuts, or maybe they'll hear about it. And maybe the cup will come back. Well, that was Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, we had our Christmas pageant, and I'm prepared. I'm ready to catch and see who did this. So what I did is I went downstairs, and I set up my webcam. I took one of my webcams down and attached and plugged it into the computer downstairs and had it set and focused on the uh, the box where the trophy sits so I could watch it. And guys, I'm going to tell you, for 12 hours I watched this thing. What I did is I set up a live stream on Facebook and just set it to private so I, could, I was the only one who could see it and even know that it was going live. And I just sat there, well, I didn't, but the camera just sat there and watched everything for 12 hours. Nope. 12 hours of video feed, nothing. Darkness, kids running around it during and after the pageant, darkness again, and nothing. But, Monday night, I got a phone call from Liz. If you remember, Liz is one of the custodians here at the church. She's also a student in the youth group. And she found the trophy. 